I think for me it's Theranostics and all the new radio tracers that are coming down the pipeline. Uh, I'm on the pediatric side, so we don't get as many opportunities for some of these new tracers that are on the adult side, yet it gives me significant hope uh, that we'll be able to figure out ways that we can repurpose them for our needs. And so that's really exciting and I'm very excited for what's gonna happen next for the next 10 years. I am a graduate student studying production and application on the very basic science end of things. And my perspective of SNMMI, it includes a lot of clinical physicians. And there's a, there's a gap kind of in the research that's going on between. So I think it, I've been very interested that there seems to be more communication between the two. So re researchers are helping to point out to clinicians that we need better tools in dosimetry and um, calibrations, better imaging, things like that. And clinicians are uh, providing feedback on the other. So I think that it's going to help further patient care as the two kind of basic science and clinical research uh, interplay more. Ongoing trials on Maximum. Uh, the advantages and disadvantages. Currently, um, there's a hybrid kind of theranostics treatment, which is the actinium and the lutetium, together whereby you reduce the dose so that the effect of the salivary gland glands will be reduced. I am really interested in the sort of novel tracers or novel therapeutics. Um, at the University of Wisconsin, we focus a lot on radio metal production. So we're seeing, I think, a lot more of that. It's kind of straying away from a lot of the everyday produced tracers and moving more towards like something like cobalt tracers that'll have a theranostic pair or a session that we were just in was focusing on alpha emitters such as astatine and terbium-149. So those are, I think, up and coming instead of um, strictly focusing on the actinium production. So yeah, I was really interested in that and I look forward to learning more about it. Music